what is going on everybody welcome back to the channel and guys today we are back with another video now guys today i will be showing you guys how to install mods for elden ring now before we actually get into the video i'm sure you guys are wondering where i've been and it's kind of a long story but i'll keep it short for y'all throughout these years i've been making youtube videos i felt so burned out the past year and a half i should say and I, I felt that I could not continue and so um, yeah I just quit for a moment and I couldn't continue doing YouTube because there was so much on my mind um, there was school there was exams and all that type of stuff I had to focus so hard on school and uh, yeah I mean I felt so burned out and uh, yeah now I don't know if I'm gonna be back soon but um, occasionally I will make videos, you know, I'm not dead, I'm alive, I'm well, um, yeah, so this is just like an update, <laughs> I'm alive guys, and um, I'm really contemplating when I can make these videos, because I still do want to stick to YouTube, I love YouTube, I love making content, but it's very hard, especially when you are doing it for a very long time, you know, I, I am human, you know, I do need a break, so... Hope you guys understand thank you guys so much for not abandoning me um i'm super happy of how much subscribers we've reached but i still do need to make more efforts um but yeah without further ado let's get straight into the video like the title suggests and like i said i'll be showing you guys how to mod elden ring and uh yeah so let's get straight into it the first thing you want to do is go into your files go to this PC and select OneDrive. It doesn't matter what it is, but this is just going to be a specific folder where you're going to put all of your mods. So for me, I already have one. It's here, Elden Ring Mods, and I have every single Elden Ring mod here. And um, after you've created the folder, you can exit and you can go back to Google or whatever you're using, Edge, uh, I'm using. And it uh, doesn't matter what type of browser it is. Um, and then search the mod you're going to download. For me, it's the first person mod Elden Ring. And you're going to click on the Nexus Mods page. It's going to bring you to the mod page. Now, quick disclaimer before we continue. You do actually need an account for Nexus Mods to be able to download uh, them. So go ahead. If you don't have an account, create one. Very quick, very simple. And then once you're back in this page, click manual. Now, when you look at this, you're going to see, oh, okay, it's going to download very, very slow. No, it is not. This is just some type of way for you to buy the premium. Don't buy the premium. The free one is just fine. Click the slow download. It's going to be the same upload speed, download speed, whatever. It's the same internet. And then you're going to save the mod to your mods folder wherever you put it in your crd whatever you're gonna save it now i already have it so i'm not gonna save it twice but if you don't have the mod already go ahead and download it click save and now we're gonna go back into the folder and if you have elden ring uh shortcut or elden ring itself on your uh desktop click the so right click uh, click open file location and then you're gonna be in the Elden Ring mod folder or the, sorry the game folder for Elden Ring and on the other tab of your files you want to go to uh, this PC uh, drive you installed the mod you're gonna go get the mod so I have the mod right here it's this it's Elden Ring FPS uh, version I don't know what you're gonna extract this folder if you have it and it's going to give you a bunch of files so i'm gonna i'm gonna do it so you see all of these files you're gonna take them you're gonna right click you're gonna click cut you're gonna go back in here to your uh, game folder for elden ring and you're gonna go ahead and paste it right into this uh game folder for elden ring then i shouldn't have closed out don't close it out that was my bad um 
then go back into your Elden Ring folder, actually, hold up, and then you're gonna see the, uh, this, you're gonna see the mod icon, the application uh, to open Elden Ring, you're gonna right click that once more, you're gonna uh, find create shortcut, take that shortcut, take it and paste it right onto your desktop, copy it to your desktop. If you want, you can rename it. I'm not going to rename it. I mean, actually, sorry, I did rename it. And um, once you're done, you can just double click. It's going to launch Elden Ring. So there you have it. That is actually how you install Elden Ring. If inside the mod is a file a folder, also that goes in the game folder every single mod that is Elden Ring whether it's a base file or a folder you put it in the Elden Ring game folder click click uh, press play yeah whatever this is all the bull now some people it will appear that the modder put like some kind of message for me it didn't I'm gonna go load game I'm gonna load into a game where I don't have a lot of progress just because I don't want to ruin my current game it can ruin your current game now well as you get well I don't know why I'm lagging hold up I do not think this is normal um, okay I think I crashed oh no my mic fell sorry Okay, well, we're going to relaunch it and I'm going to turn all the settings down because I'm lagging and I don't know why. Oh, my bad, sorry. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to turn all the settings down. Um some of these mods can actually have a toll on your performance. Um especially with mine, I find it with that when I play with mods, it lags. It's only with specific mods, however. Um, I don't find it with every single mod. Um, other mods I have tried haven't lagged this much quite. Uh, right, so we're gonna change quickly. Go on all low. And uh, we're gonna reload into the uh, other game. Let's see here. Let's see. There you have it. So we are in Elden Ring now. It looks normal, but when I press Q, hold it, we are in first person Elden Ring mode. Um, this fully works. Everything works. Everything is here. This fully works. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to see more uh, tutorials on how to do stuff in Elden Ring or I don't know, maybe possibly a guide for Elden Ring, I can do all of that. You just have to show. So show sorry the support onto this video so thank you guys so much for watching uh i don't know when i'm gonna see you guys but i'll see you guys soon